Today we take you to Ayutthaya. And we tell you the story of Wat Yai Chai Mongkol. Our question today is why are there so many roosters in Wat Yai Chai Mongkol? Thai people will know the answer, do they? Welcome to Thailand Life Thai. We are Nen and Odin. The temple is located about one hour's drive north of Bangkok. We will do a little trip next week and Nan wanted to take the car for a test drive. Because of the upcoming trip, I don't know when I will publish our next video. Because it will be from outside Bangkok and it will be the first video I will edit and upload on the go. This will be a test run. There will be something else new, but I will keep this a surprise, as well as where we will go on our first trip this year. Nan's sister Dan joined us today. You saw her in earlier videos, like the mango harvest video already. The monastery was constructed by King Udong in 1357 AD to accommodate the monks that were ordained by Pra Banratana Mahatara Burian. This monastery was named Wat Pakeo. Afterwards, Pra Vanratana of Wat Prager suggested to King Nadeswan the Great to build a shady pagoda. In 1592, the Battle of Nong Sarai took place, one of many battles between Ayutthaya and the Burmese. There are a few recollections of this battle. In the Thai version, King Naresuan moved forward during the battle and attacked the Burmese crown prince, Minshrit Sra, in a one-to-one -one combat on war elephants. King Naresuan killed the Burmese prince with his sword after which the Burmese army retreated. After returning to Ayutthaya, the king ordered the Chedi Chai Mongkong, built to commemorate the victory over the Burmese. The battle is depicted on the seal of Supanburi province. Thai people visit this Wat to pay respect to Buddha and King Naresuan.
The statues of roosters and fighting cocks, which have been left in King Naresuan's honor, represent the king's own fighting spirit and bravery. But there are other legends. Burma and Thailand had fought during the 16th century and the Thai prince Naresuan was taken to Burma after the capital city fell in defeat to Burmese king Bayingnaun in 1564 and 1569. Ayutthaya became a vassal state as a consequence, and the Burmese installed Prince Naresuan's father, King Maha Tamarasha, from 1569 to 1590 on the throne. 
Prince Naresuan was subsequently raised in the land of his enemies as a type of collateral against future uprisings. While still in Burma, Prince Naresuan proved himself a skilled fighter with roosters, improving his sense of military strategy. With his complicated rise in power, a string of events provoked Prince Naresuan to shift alliances and declare Ayutthaya independent once again. The legend is that the Thai Prince Naresuan wagered a bet with the Burmese Prince that Ayutthaya would be freed from the Burmese rule if Naresuan's rooster emerged victorious in the cockfight. Prince Naresuan's rooster won the bet, humiliating the Burmese prince in the process. After the release of a popular movie about King Naresuan, these rooster statues began to appear mysteriously at temples across Thailand. They are mostly high concentrated at temples associated with this royal warrior. However, the rooster statues around King Naresuan's memorials can number in the hundreds and Thai citizens offer them all over the country.
ขอหมุนเงินยูซิสเตอร์เฟิร์สนัทมิกกี้มาส์เฟิร์สทำไมคุณคุณหอมใส่ใส่ใส่มาได้ไงสามเดือนที่แล้วมีแบบนี้ไหมฝันจะมาอยู่กับแนนมีไหม Now we hope for good weather for our upcoming trip I will do my best to have a new video uploaded by next Saturday.
thank you for watching our video. Please click like, comment and to stay in touch subscribe. Click the bell to get notified of our next upload. Just click a thumbnail to stay with Thailand lifestyle. Yes, 